Welcome to your Pilates Reformer workout. My name is Melanie, your mildly goth Pilates instructor. Today we're going to be doing our core workout on the Reformer using the box. So if you would, we're going to load on all springs onto the machine for stability. Place your box into short box position and meet me on the machine. So a quick rule of thumb, if you're 5'7 or taller, you're going to want to place your box over the shoulder blocks. If you're shorter, you want to place it just in front. You're going to reach down, find that strap in front of you, place your feet under it so that you get a little bit of tension as you flex the feet. This is gonna be your support for this series. We're gonna begin with rollbacks in a curved position. So I'm gonna place my hands into genie position or wrapped around the waist, roll the shoulders back, sit up really tall so you don't have a curve in the lumbar spine just yet. We're gonna begin just curling the pelvis under, feeling that tension in the straps as you roll back. What you wanna do is you feel those abdominals zipping in and up rather than bulging out. Curl the spine up, stack the spine, sit up nice and tall. Make sure your tailbone is getting out from underneath you. Big breath in, curl the pelvis under, roll it down one vertebra at a time. Start to find a little bit more range. Exhale, sit up really tall. Good. And you'll see I have my foot bar up here. If you're on a different model or you find that your toes are starting to touch the foot bar, you can place it in the downward position. That's completely fine too. Let's take a few more. Melting the spine down, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Finding your low point, starting to play around with range each time. Good. Keeping that tension in the strap this whole time. Exhaling as you come up. Scooping the belly button. Shoulders stay rolled back. <sighs> Exhale, sit up nice and tall. Good. If you've lost tension in the strap, just reset. We're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna find a cross arm position. Sit up really tall. You're gonna feel like someone's pulling a string out of your head. So you're lifting up out of your seat. Hinge back with a neutral spine. Exhale, hinge forward. So I'm not curving down in that lumbar spine. I'm keeping this nice natural curve as I hinge to the back, exhale, hinge front. So I find it useful to let the chin just soften down, find a single focal point that's in front of you and a little bit higher than your eye level as you go back. Good, still keeping that tension in the strap. And each time you wanna make sure that you're taking care not to flare the ribs up. So you're not changing any position of the spine or the rib cage. Got that nice, neutral, natural spinal uh, position. <sighs> Two more. Last one. Inhale as you go back. Exhale, come up. Next, I'm gonna reach the arms forward and we're gonna take that C curve again. So curling through the spine, I'm gonna open up, reach the fingertips toward the opposite right corner. Curve it up, sit up nice and tall. Big breath in, exhale. Curve the pelvis down, reach for that back corner with the left hand. Exhale, twist to come forward. Getting some obliques here. Shoulders staying as low as you can muster. Good, alternating sides. Taking care to make sure that the belly button is zipped in and up. Exhaling as you come forward. Play around with your range here. Find the range that's comfortable for you. And over time, as you repeat this video, you can start to play around and see if you can push it a little bit further. Let's take one more each side. And switch. Very nice. Fold over the legs, grab your ankles or the foot bar if it's up for you. Just go for your hamstring stretch. Go ahead and roll up to sitting. We're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna go for variations on around the world. You can take this in a couple different positions. You can start for a more beginner version with the arms crossed over the chest. A more moderate version will be hands behind the head and a more advanced version will be arms and an upward V. I'm gonna go for the arm cross today. So play around with what works for you. What we're gonna do is find your arm position, sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna begin facing square to center. I'm gonna to twist to the right. Hinge back with that neutral spine. Rotate to center, rotate to the left, hinge up on a diagonal, come back to center. Turn to the left, hinge back on the left, 
center while you're in this back position, rotate to the right, hinge up on that right diagonal, find your center. So really taking care as we repeat this alternating sides to make sure that the belly button is pulled up. Good, big breath in as you lower down, rotating, keeping both hip bones really even and steady on the mat. Good, let's take one more in each direction. Getting lots of good core work here. And try to find the fluidity. Very nice. Okay, reach for your ankles. Take a quick stretch. And let's move on. Next, we're gonna go for climbing tree. You're gonna keep your left foot in that strap. You're gonna scoot your butt back so that you definitely have that tension on the strap. You're gonna hold on to your right thigh with your right hand squaring off the hip so both hips are facing forward. You're gonna find that deep scoop. Elbows are gonna be lifted. We're gonna begin pumping the leg, extending. One, two, three. Pause, bring it back to tabletop. Pump one, two, three. Belly button is in and up. Shoulders are lifted, shoulders are down, elbows are lifted. Pump again, one, two, three. Good, find that extension. You're gonna walk up to your ankle or as close to it as you can get. Find your deep C curve here, finding this nice curl. And keeping the hips square, I'm gonna walk down the leg, grabbing onto the thigh, finding a nice deep curve here. Foot is pointed at the top. Exhale, walk all the way up. Good. Keeping that leg nice and high. You might not have the flexibility I do. Find it wherever you can. Walk down the leg, find a little bit more scoop. Make sure you have that tension in the left foot in that strap. Exhale, walk all the way up to the ankle holding that leg where it is, or as close to it as you can get it. This time, if that all felt doable, you can extend the back into the well. If not, take one of the variations we did already. Walking the, the hands down the thigh, keeping that tension in the strap, I'm gonna extend the back over the box into the well. Exhale, chin to chest. Walk up the thigh, pull the leg in. That one is a doozy. I think it's pretty fun though. Tell me what you think in the comments. I shudder to ask. Good, right foot goes under that strap. Now make sure you have that tension. Scoot your bottom back if you need to. Square off the hips, grab onto the thigh on the left side. Find your curve, tabletop position. Point the foot, we're gonna pump the leg. One, two, three. Two more sets. Belly button scooped in and up. Two, three. I find this one weirdly energizing. One, two, Three, extend at the top. I'm gonna to walk up to the leg, pull it in toward my chest, take it back, square off the hips if you need to. I got a little bit out of alignment. I'm gonna walk down the leg, find a deep, deep curve. Exhale, step the hands up to the ankle or as close to you can get it. If you need to rock forward a little bit, do what you gotta do, but your goal is to pull the leg in toward your chest. Big breath in, hips still square, walk down the thigh, holding onto the hamstring, find your deep curl. Exhale, chin in toward your chest. As you bring it up, pull the leg in toward you. Good. Deep breath in, exhale. If you'd like to extend into the wall, go for it. If not, take the same variation we did last. You're gonna hold onto the thigh, extend the back over. Exhale, chin to chest. Walk the hands up to the ankle and let's move on. Great job. Last thing before we wrap up today, we're gonna to go for side sit-ups. So I'm gonna to rotate to the right. My right leg is on the box, bent in front of me. My left foot has the strap on it and I wanna be moved over far enough on the box that I have that tension on the strap, just like we've been using this entire class. A few options for your arms. You can have a hand down on the headrest. You can cross the arms in front of your chest, more moderate. Hands behind the head, advanced, arms extended up over your head. I'm gonna take the cross arm position for today. So we're gonna take a big breath in, keeping this left hip down. I'm gonna extend the torso into the wall, keeping that tension in the strap. Exhale, bring it on up. Good, bending the torso into the well. Exhale, gonna bring it back up. I'm actually gonna bring my hands behind the head today. Take the option that feels best for you. With the hands behind the head, you really wanna think about the torso moving between two planes of glass. I also like to think about the elbows painting a rainbow, so I'm not just bending that right elbow into the torso. I'm reaching that left elbow up and over. Good, let's take two or three more. Making sure that belly button is staying lifted. 
Inhale as you go down. Exhale, lift. Great oblique work here. And one. Place your head down onto the headrest or into the well. You're going to reach your left arm up and over. Palm flips to face the floor. Twist, turn your torso to face the floor. Reach your arms out, grabbing onto the rails in front of you. Press that top hip away from you, back behind your body, toward that back foot to intensify the stretch through the side body here. Place your hand on the headrest. Use your obliques to lift you up. We're gonna go for the opposite side. Turning to face the other direction, you're going to bend the left leg in front of you. Right leg is long by your side. And again, you can have one hand down on the headrest for support, arms crossed in front of the body, hands behind the head or arms extended over. Pick the one that works for you. I'm gonna go right four, hands behind the head. Tension in the strap. Lift the elbow up and over. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you lift. Keep that tension to support you. Knee is facing directly forward. Exhale, bring it up. Good, trying to keep that right hip down. Feeling those obliques really starting to work very quickly. Shoulders stay down. Think about your shoulder blades melting down your back like two sliding bars of soap. Good, let's take three more. And again, think about that top elbow painting an arch or a rainbow. Not collapsing the left elbow into the body, reaching up and over. Very nice, last one. Very good, we're gonna reach the left hand in onto the headrest or into the well. Right arm reaches up and over. Flip that right palm to face the floor. Shoulders roll down, find your nice long stretch. Rotate the torso to face the floor. Lift up, left hand to the headrest, reach up and over using your obliques to lift you up. And you did it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please hit the subscribe button to join me for more workouts in the future. And let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks so much, bye.